I want to talk today a bit about a um, proposal that I put forward to the Evolution Working Group a, a few, uh, about a year ago, I think now, um, about const. So this is who I am. I'm not going to talk about it. That's just for the video. Um, and the paper was basically looking at um, if we had deep const in the language, what would it look like? So um, briefly to recap, uh, what do we mean by deep const and shallow const? So shallow const is um, something like unique putter, where we, uh, you, pass a, you, you have a unique putter, the unique putter is const, but the, the thing it refers to, you can still modify as much as you want because it's only the unique pointer itself that's actually const. Um, deep const is a type like vector, where it uh, makes sure that you cannot actually modify the contents because the, if, if the actual vector itself is const. So in the language, the, the, word co the keyword const gives you shallow constness. And we achieve deep constness via a lot of care. We have to make sure that when you're writing a class like vector, that you, you basically don't ever leak a mutable, uh, mutable, mutable pointer into the data from any const function. Or you've, you've lost all the deep const guarantees. So, Let's talk about what, um, how, how we do this in the language. So the idea is propagating constants. And um, this is actually something that um, Jonathan Coe uh, tried to add to the standard library with this thing called std propagate const, which you would, uh, you would template std propagate const on something like an int star, and it would give you a, a smart pointer with pro const propagation. Um, if you try to use, do something in the language, it looks more like a CV qualifier, which um, in reference to, to that proposal, it's, um, the working name I've got is propconst. Um, so it's half a new CV qualifier because it's not like we're adding a full new CV qualifier that would double the, net, the number of, of combinations. You've only got six rather than four. Um, and it's got this, this resolution mechanic where basically what it means is if the pointer, if you, if you have a pointer to prop const int, then if the pointer is const, then the int will be const. So it, it's kind of sort of reaching out beyond its own type, but it, it's, it, the, it really um, plays out quite nicely when you, when you try to actually use it. So there's a couple of examples. If you just write prop const int, it's kind of useless, that's just an int. If you write prop const int star, um, the prop const goes away because the, the pointer is mutable. If you write prop const int star const, make the pointer const, then that's effectively the same as a const int pointer. The magic comes when you use one of these things in a class, because in different contexts, in, by which I mean in, in a const versus non-const member function, that pointer is either mutable or non-mutable. Non so the fact that you've, prop, you've used prop const on the pointee type then makes it um, actually propagate const just like um, a std propagate const would. Um, so how does this actually um, play out in use? So the qualifier only really exists in declarations. Um, once you actually try to make an expression from something that is declared with a type involved in prop const, all this resolution I've described um, happens and it becomes a type that just involves no const or const. So um, here, I don't know if you're familiar with what the magic double parentheses do, but <laughs> in short, decal type of, a, of an identifier gives you the literal declared type. If you put the extra parentheses in, it becomes an expression, and so you get the, what the type is of that identifier as an expression. And you can see uh, by the comments that the prop const disappears there. OK, so how would you use this in the library? Um, if you add a std vector, you just sprinkle it over the, um, the, the inner members, and it basically just makes the compiler check the vector is correct. It doesn't really change anything, but it would, if you're doing it on your own class, it gives you some more guarantees that you haven't made a mistake. If you use it on unique putter, then you can actually template unique putter on prop const int, and with a minor modification to the unique putter API, you actually um, can turn unique putter into a const propagating unique pointer. Um, and I've got no time for this at all, but basically, via a lot of magic, 
what this um, means is uh, that you can uh, do non-transient context for allocation and magically do things like uh, vectors of strings and promote autostatic storage. It's wonderful. And this is the original motivations for the paper, but what I really want to hear about is people who want the, the feature for deep constantness. So get in touch if you, if you want this just for deep constantness, because it's easier to justify than just for doing the, uh, the magic allocation in constantness. Thank you.